with us online. We welcome you as well in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We say welcome. And so as you uh, worship with us online, make sure that uh, you share uh, the feed so that others can uh, also follow the service. Today, St. Uh, Matthews, before I come to our theme or the subject of the day, it's just a reminder of something that uh, was mentioned and that is concerning the Harvest Sunday. So Harvest Sunday uh, falls on the 12th of uh, September 2021 for St. Uh, Matthews. This is an annual festival or it's an annual celebration in which we celebrate the providence of God. So as such, this Sunday and next Sunday uh, this Sunday and next Sunday's teaching are dedicated to prepare us for the same. I have um, entitled our, our theme for this service as giving or bringing the best to the Lord. Giving or bringing the best to the Lord. Let us pray. Tu vale mie va yawe Tu vale mie va yawe Mungandha yawe Iswe te le le Tu vale mie va yawe Tu vale mie va Tu vale mi vale so sa tu vale mi tu vale mi sa You are the King of Kings, and so we come to you, Lord, believing that you alone is able to minister to us in your own special way. Let that which shall be spoken and be heard be your word. Through Christ our risen Lord, we pray. Amen. Giving or bringing the best to the Lord or God. Giving bringing or bringing the best to the Lord. Kutula, nguku pela, na nguku leta, ichisuma na nguicha alinga, kulishukulu lesa. And so we will focus our teaching and preaching today on the very passage that we have read or the very text that we have um, read. From uh, our theme, the word best will not refer to quantity but will refer to quality or will mean quality. When we say bringing or giving the best, I'm not trying to entirely or look at how much 
if it, in, if it is in terms of money, or how many one is able to bring or to give. But my interest, and in the light of the subject that we have, my interest is the quality of the gift, the quality of the sacrifice, if I use that language in the light of the passage that we have. So where you see the best, I'll be meaning uh, or I'll be referring to quality. But also when we say bringing or giving the best to the Lord, we are simply saying that which pleases the giver and the Lord. That which pleases the giver and the Lord. So we are saying in this case, the quality is determined by the giver. But this giver has to be satisfied first with himself or herself before he or she brings that gift. So as we are coming for a harvest, bringing whatever we will be bringing, first it has to satisfy ourselves as givers. And then we bring it here. And if we are satisfied, I believe God will be satisfied as well. The standard is the heart of the giver. So who gives the standard? It is not the church. But the giver gives a standard. The church, there I mean, whatever you'll be bringing on that day, or whatever you may want to give, it is not really or necessarily the receiver who sets the standard. It is the, the giver who sets the standard. So as you'll be bringing, it is you to determine does this fit who I am or what God has done? Is this right? Or is this what I can take to celebrate the festival of harvest? The criteria is what God has given or blessed the giver. So we do not have a criteria. I cannot prescribe or set a criteria for you. But it is you who will be able to sit down and look at what God has done in the past months, in the years before, and what you are believing God for. And that will be your criteria to bring or to give. This is something that now we note in the passage of scripture that we have. When we read chapter 1, verse 1 of Leviticus, these are some of the things that we note. But before I go further to talk about the actual verses that we have, I want us to know something about Leviticus. Leviticus is not necessarily about the Levites and the rules and regulations. But it is about the absolute, revealing the absolute holiness of God. And how this God can be approached in worship. So when you are reading the book of Leviticus, yes, it talks about the rules and regulations. We agree. Yes, it's about the Levites. But the bigger picture that we must have is about this God who is holy. No wonder the statement, be holy as I the Lord is holy, must always ring at the back of our mind when we are reading Leviticus. The rules and regulations about worship and about this God who is holy. How we are supposed to worship him, whether in giving or whether in whatever we may think that pleases him. This God still remains holy and must be approached as 
such. When we look at verse 1, we note that God in this verse speaks to Moses and gives an instruction to Moses and says, Moses, go and speak to the people. About what? About the sacrifices that they were supposed to give. The background to that text is that we must understand that at this point in time, what was at the center of their worship was a sacrificial system. When somebody sins, God demanded a sacrifice for that sin. Or when there was something that is happening, God demanded a certain offering to that uh, happening. And so we know that when God is giving instructions through Moses, Moses addresses the people or a nation of Israel at that time which had only the tabernacle to worship from, a tent to worship from, or a tent as a meeting place. And so let's go to verse 6. When God speaks to Moses, he says, Tell the children of Israel to bring the sacrifices to me. But as they bring, this could be livestock, or this could be anything else. But as they bring, this must be gifts without blemish. Hallelujah, church. At this point in time, they are camped at Mount Sinai or Mount Sinai for some time. They are yet to break camp. But God still commands them that as they come, as they meet him, whether they are bringing a sin offering or any form of sacrifice in form of a livestock, it must be something that is pleasing before God. I was drawn to look at Genesis chapter 4 in your time. Please make sure that you go and look at that passage of scripture. In this passage of scripture, church, we look at the gifts that Cain and Abel brought before God. And we are alive to the fact that God accepted Abel's offering or gift and God refused Cain's uh, gift. The challenge is we are not told as to why God refused the other gift and accepted the other. But within myself, I was trying to raise something to say probably it was the motive behind the giving, but also maybe the state in which that gift was. I don't want to go further, but probably that is a conversation that must continue until we meet Cain and Abel. But two things that I have made mention, the motive and probably the state in which the gift was. It draws my attention to verse 3 because verse 3 is very clear. If it is offering a bent sacrifice of a head, let him offer a male without blemish. I'll come to without blemish as my first point. So meaning that as they are bringing, whatever they are bringing, it must be something without defect. It must be something that is clean. It must be something that is of a high quality as God emphasizes that as they bring, this must be without blemish and it must be a male. I was trying to think, so why not and so probably my thought took me to the society. You say this was obviously a patriarchal society and so probably everything was seen in that sense. So even when the rules and regulations are given to them, uh, there's that patriarchal biasness to which we note in the passage of scripture. But God emphasizes, Moses tell them, it has to be a gift without blemish. So what do we draw then? Two things that are coming. Number one, we note that when God is you know, demanding for these sacrifices, these sacrifices or this sacrifice must be without blemish. 
Number two, but P of verse three says it has to be a free will offering. Free will offering. Chifure chava icha kuitemeno. Icha kubali lapo. Chifure chava icha gula akalema. Ona ngubu lema. Icha bubiri. Chifure chava icha kuitemeno. So let us move with those points. Number one, without blemish. For me, it is something that is not forsaken by the giver. Number two, it is the best of the best. And so, as we prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the Feast of Harvest, we must begin to look at ourselves and begin to prepare that which was of value, that which is best. Who is setting the standard? Let us go back to our introduction. It is you and me setting that standard and looking at this gift and saying, God, this is what pleases you. It's not about necessarily how much or how many because that is how we are deceived. There are times that the church has made alarming and outrageous statements like the bigger the gift, the more the doors open. I don't subscribe and I don't believe in such a theology because we are at different levels and it is an individual who determines how big and how good a gift is. Kulibambi 50 kwacha ten dollars and if you find it, then Kulibambi 50 kwacha ninshi. Aha. Kulibambi ukupele jacket techi techind. Kulibambi ukupele jacket techind. So you cannot say how many or how much. No ways. But in all this, it has to be something of quality. The challenge that we have is in most cases generally even in our communities I want to talk about the names of the people who are in the name of the people who are in the name of the since I am tired of this dress I am going to give what do you want to give? no one will give you what do you want to give? no one will give you what do you want to give? and it reminds me sometimes that's, that's the trend in the church huh? church God says it has to be without blemish so but if you have to be without blemish it must be something that is of quality. You look at it and say, Mwelesa, this is it. When people say your gift will speak at the altar, here is the understanding church. Whenever they brought a gift or a sacrifice at the altar, if it had defects, God rejected. Yes, it was the worship then but we can still pick something to say, as we come to God, our gifts must be without blemish. I leave that to God. Amen? Because in giving, as you note, that it has to be free will, and I say free will, there's this point that you and I must prepare ourselves and understand properly and in context. Sometimes when we give to God, we want to look at ourselves as if we are doing God a favor. As if we are, you know, I'm twisting him. I know this seed I'm giving is for my marriage. So they pay the chabu. Hmm. Kuri lesa. Pakuti la wami yenga ndayani. Lesa. Abe moved. Nenda lama. Akuwa nishe chupo. Wala batu wenda ukaferi yonze tawa kwa tenjita ya chupo cho. Sometimes if you to follow. No. No. I'm giving this seed. Because I know that this seed. Is going to change my lifestyle. No. Be committed. 
to change. Why do we give? We give because we're extending God's kingdom on earth. On earth. It is not God coming down to come and give so that things can change. No, it is us. But are we twisting his arm to say, okay, because I have done this, do this. No, it doesn't work like that. Do you know that even without our gifts, God can still bless us? I know that is the truth. So it's not a question of number two God commands the children of Israel to say the sacrifice or the gifts that they bring must be out of free will in brackets those who are writing it's not out of compulsion the word is not compulsion and the word compulsion means a forcing or something that you force. You know? So it's not a forcing matter. So even as we come to harvest, I am not trying to force anyone. And even you should not even be forced to give. And you should not even be manipulated. <laughs> no. I would rather leave that to God. But here is my point. We will never make progress progress because it is us to develop this environment environment no need to force yourself it's not out of compassion free will you know what harvest is not a fundraising that we should be grouping ourselves this section you are going to bring 5,000 and that's it ah, ah, it is free will when we anyway work setting a standard, ichina chindi, na chindi inga, weleza, na ale tatapani no mpatikishe. Mayo, the ma condition ya yaba vika wad. No, na yam pele finish what inga na pele apa ichivicha la is kato ato tera pa chete kerecho. No wonder some people have been disappointed. They are always complaining. I've always been giving and giving and giving. I even give my tithe, but things have not changed. Okay, let me tell you something. Giving a tithe is a Christian duty. I've been giving my offerings and nothing is changing. Yes, your attitude is bad. But when you are giving, you are not giving because you want that to change the way things are. You in a car now I'm tithe, but you cook one shoe. But we are mukula and shakala and chef your fry. That why you sakwa manu. We are magatina nwa lakumona. And, and people move about in search of this. No, I've been giving tithes and tithes to men of God. I've been giving and eh, eh, misha, misha, But is it us to change things? No. And when you give, why are you giving? Is it a forcing matter? No. I want to believe that when you are giving, you have to have that motive. And that motive must be a clear mind to say, I am doing this because I am extending God's kingdom. Therefore, I know I'm going to let you know that I am going to no, giving is actually when you are crediting. Lisa, Lisa, rich in silver and gold. Esa kongo lekuli iwe. Ndera sanjo. Kapenda limbi. Kapenda wanda wama kambako wa mulungu ina angu. Takuwa voku mkongwe. No, you know when ndo wapila fi. Nishina wa mkongwe isha. Uwa mifundile fio. Uwa hafi. Amen. <laughs> Here is what you've done. You have extended God's kingdom on earth, on earth because it is your duty. The angels not come from heaven and come and make this environment good. It is us to do it. So when we are doing it, we are doing it because God has given us and mandated us to do that. Not with or without our gifts, he still remains God. And he does not even shake. 
Ukisema no sense majesty data ba mpena ah ah he still remains god Wela mi mepa no mepa yo ngata mi pelelesa mai no ta waka che buka cha Ichika ba pufisa kutira tri vakas Yo ah ah you know kwa ba ba ntwa vakas but they are doing fine in life Ochi ta ba kwa tefe mute mute kwa ba ba ntwa ba shipepa No kupela ta ba pe but they are doing fine. They're doing fine. And so believers must come to a point to say, don't attach conditions to it. And don't play around scripture. You give, it's a measure. Shall be what? Uh-uh. Look at that text in context and read with open eyes. Because the scripture there is talking about seeds of kindness and not these seeds of money. That you are trying to think and say, "Gana vika pa, so na ena le safe." But Bible shwalo kisha tuchechi gana pela tayi thia twenty pin. Na ole sa kesa aleta forty pin. Tefi a womba. But binga mo aleta tayi thia twenty pin. Le sa ya kumi posha fia kakondo akale kadipa. Ah, le sa te muntu tanda. Usa ku posha fia kako? Kako? Nangu yuko tuvi onse kwa le kadipa mi akane mi ak. So dafet kwa. Give to the man of God in a papa. I don't know if you Man of God, man of God, man of God must harvest from the people. Um, want to move it? What call is all? So now it now it from who some bola kuri yon? Ah we, ah we want just any nani? Nilesa, he knows about my life, and I will not waste my time teaching heresy. I would rather teach the truth. Amen. Free will, free will. The offerings that we give. Free will, except the tithe. A tithe, it's ten percent. Percent. So, chaku itemeno. But here is the secret. It is you to determine if this is okay. And that's why, when you are giving your offerings at home or you are bringing your offering, it has to start at home. Mwa lori kisha chamu pe mukwete. Mwa pepa. Abe ngi tu sa mukfwa yobu pe kum. You know, when we come here, we give our offerings. Elo mwa isai. Shono mwa mukfwa ya fwa no attachment whatsoever. You should have attachment to it. begin to think about it. So when you bring there, we pray. After all, that's the plain truth. The mission is done on earth, but it is out of our free will. Let it be the best that comes to God. Let it be something without difference. Not each a soul. Now, if you want to pay a little bit, if you want to pay a little bit, you will pay a Give something. If you want to pay a little bit, whatever it means, but one thing I want to know is that it's something that you are attached to. Chile, it's something that you are attached to. Chile, it's something that you are attached to. That's why you are attached to. Shimona ine mama wana akomvina ine nga mwandetera fetcho nshitemenwe shaka miumfushe buna tinka fole muka chimone bufi kuchipakinga shichitemenwe nishi nalambo kwendira kwati ni pepe kale njuli lemo pantu chavu pe awe sina chikonde niya isiza chivala odote
Mwamfuitila. Ine nebo wakufuitila. Na padepe ino potupela. Tuke pa tontonka nya. I don't like that statement. No. Hapa kumushi. Pale isa. Teke nitu wakolonga nikilo tusamu. Tonse. Pakuya wakase. Ndani shimene wa fwa 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 tusamu. Hapa ine pasande wala chaya. Naba samba na wapika na mafuta ya ambia wakasha na kumatu. Hapa yore wa ponya makiru. And it's very common in our homes. Ah, but it's a fiance. If you are a fiance, Mulesu, Mulesunga. Shkaya Kuisa, Kumush. Shon Sembalesha, Tulika, Nangusha Kokoka, Awe, Shkaya Kuisa, Kumush. Hm, Elon Shokoma Fuma, Ekwa Mule, and Gamuvefio, Ekumule Twalefia Sulwa, Okoa Fuma, Ufidawa Twale Chisuma. Simona Mumeva Tilayo, Abafiash Vandina Bakota, each is on the Kutiba Fuala, Abakufiele. Elo refu weso shai nekuli ine. Na kupapa tande kafi. Hapa fila shite. Kusaba. Hawe na wako ta. Kiti wafu wa refu ni fiyo nse. Haa haa. Tude tu ino tuwa mute. Epu wakuba lasa hapa fila shi. Na nguna wa shala nemi akashibiri mkufuwa. Nati ya diya mawala tisa mkupanga. Chanji kuchanechi. Tachachi papu. Ya diya mawala tupanga. Kula mwone mbuko shubusu mabanto cho tupapangi langa nabafu. But when you are doing door to door visitation, some homes are visited. Huh? But Pamalilo, Elo Pamone Kava and Avafisung. Pamalilo, Elo Pamone Kava and Azona Navasha and Tons and Avach to organize. Ah, oh, well. Pamalilo and Masenda Fempa Samamu Pomba at Mulan. Job watcher and I shave and do no Kuyanka. That's quite an inch. But it's never no more. Yo pose ni kwa mano. Bali ishe ni mo. Bali ya fwalo tusuma. Kumushi. Na fwalo mfiyashi. Bali mfwala mwena tunalifia. Nalifia. Kwa mbaba mbibu la fita opposite. Kusa kosa. Kusa na kuchechi. Kuso kumulisha mwosana. Bati yu blulu wenu. Bali mwari kwa taka. So blulu fya wenu mwari filo. Bati kuli busa. Nga kola kofa. Awa barifu randi muila kola. Tumayasi sita kwa kwa kuchina pamezi. Pamukoshi. Ah, like what? Our reverend, I can't know if you are here. We are not going to pay. 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 We are those are principles of life. How can God bring me this far and abandon me? How about what he didn't sum? But yeah, my but I'm a kumush by the kumba lakuria. Yeah, mama, go and give them. You are doing fine, some of you are doing fine, but look at your families. So before you bring that free will here, let it go in your village as well. without blemish and it's not out of compassion. May the good Lord bless us all. Amen. Unza, are we ready? Nangutabeshi, the Navalaba. Okay, if the team is not ready, I still know, uh, like I said, there is an outreach